It is so insane to be standing in the same room as Mona Lisa, one of the most famous paintings in the world. Good morning from Paris. First stop of the day is the Louvre, and our appointment starts in 30 minutes, but we're 30 minutes away, so let's go. <laughs> this is our first time seeing the city during the day, and it is gorgeous. We have these streets all to ourselves. It's really a perk of waking up early. Ridiculous. Because we were so rushed today, we're actually going to get some breakfast in the Louvre at one of their many cafes. Pricey meals at the cafe, but to be expected. They say that if you spend 30 seconds in front of every work in the Louvre, it will take you six weeks to get throughout the entire museum. And we only have an hour and 45 minutes to do it, so we're gonna get through as much as we can. I am standing in front of the Winged Victory, which is a sculpture of the Greek goddess Nike, said to have been carved from the third to the first century BC. There are around 7,500 paintings total within the Louvre, and we're about to go see one of the most famous, the Mona Lisa. Alright, we found the room with the Mona Lisa in it. Let's go check it out. So, as you can see, the Mona Lisa is way smaller than most people think. It's actually only 21 inches by 30 inches. It is so insane to be standing in the same room as Mona Lisa, one of the most famous paintings in the world. There are too many cool paintings in the Louvre. I just don't know where to start, honestly.
We are lost. <laughs> this place is massive. So excited, Napoleon's apartments. I'm getting very good at saying, do you speak English in French? Parlez-vous anglais? This is where we're gonna end the video. If you wanna see us continue exploring Paris, make sure to check out the next one. And if you enjoyed this, please hit that like button and subscribe to stay tuned as we try to go to 50 countries. 50 countries. <laughs> Peace, y'all. We're climbing up the Eiffel Tower. I'm really scared.